HKM News is supported by our viewers and by Hopkinton Drug, located in this historic New England town since 1954. They are a multifaceted store dedicated to providing clients with an array of health care options. And by Webster First Federal Credit Union, providing financial products with attentive customer service to the local families and businesses of Hopkinton. Visit us at WebsterFirst.com. Welcome to HCAM News, Tom Nappy at the Anchor Desk, to keep you up to date with everything you need to know about Hopkinton. On this edition of HCAM News, Hopkinton Drug hosted their annual holiday open house. We have highlights from the exciting Hillers Clockers Thanksgiving football game, and Hillers seniors reflect on their final year in high school. But first, the Hopkinton Police Department announced the promotion of two sergeants serving on the department to lieutenant. Okay, the next one, oh, tonight's fun event, police department promotions, right on time. The board will consider, and I want to make sure, consider, uh, uh, promoting <laughs> Sergeant Joseph Bennett and Sergeant John Porter as new lieutenants of the Hockenden Police Department. It's an exciting day for the uh, Hockenden Police Department. This is the first time in the history of the department that we have two candidates up for the rank of lieutenant. Uh, the first position was recently created. Uh, as uh, we looked at the police department and saw the needs. Uh, the second one is a replacement for the uh, imminent retirement of Lieutenant Chuck Wallace, who is sitting over there. Uh, he's not gone yet, but uh, he's still got a, a good month with him. But I would like to take the time and recognize Lieutenant Wallace, who for the last 30 years has displayed dedication to excellence in public service for the town of Hopkinton. Whether working with town officials, fellow officers, town residents, and yes, even prisoners. <laughs> Regardless of the hat he worn, throughout his career, he has always treated everyone with the utmost dignity and respect. Leading by example, he has mentored many officers through his career, and tonight's promotion of these two is a perfect example of it. With that being said, I would like to thank Lieutenant Walsh for his service to the town of Hopkinton and the Hopkinton Police Department. As uh, part of the process, uh, we formed an oral board utilizing the recommendations of the Board of Selectmen. Serving on this board were HR Director Maria Casey, Owen Madden, Madden, excuse me, Madden from the Personnel Committee, uh, Chief Gary Chamberlain from the Sterling Police Department, and uh, one of our most experienced and knowledgeable police officers, Officer Tom Griffin. Uh, I certainly concurred with their recommendation. Uh, after working with both candidates and being knowledgeable their leadership style, training, education, and exper experience, as well as both their skill sets. And now I'm here to recommend uh, both to the board for promotion. Let me start with Sergeant Joe Bennett. Sergeant Joe Bennett came to the Hopkinton Police Department in 1993 after serving with the Southborough and Sutton Police Department. He has served patrol, detectives, and has been sergeant for 16 years. Currently, Sergeant Bennett is the court prosecutor in charge of detectives, communications, and the school resource officer. You can see why we need a, an extra lieutenant. <laughs> I wouldn't, I, I see all the people in the room, and I know that if it wasn't for the support that I've gotten from my bosses and the leaders, if, both formal and informal leaders, uh, I, this wouldn't be possible. I've been fortunate to be surrounded by many many good people that i work with and foremost my wonderful family i can't thank them enough for enduring lots of nights away from home while at work and uh it's uh, i'm i'm blessed to be here and i'm thankful um joe you know since i've been here i've i've heard everything that you've done for the department and the community uh just in a, in a uh, more recent history perspective uh, but then hearing the chief list off your accomplishments through your career is even more impressive. Um, glad, you're, glad you're on our team, uh, glad to have you in the community, and I wish you all the best, uh, and congratulations on this promotion. Thank you, Mr. Sestari. Sergeant John Porter joined the Hopkins Police Department in 19, <clears throat> 1992 after serving the town of Upton for three years and has a combined 26 years of experience. Sergeant Porter is a graduate, graduate of Westfield State University where he holds a degree in criminal justice. Sergeant Porter has served as a patrol officer, 
detectives, SRO, and Sergeant while at the HPD. In 1999, Sergeant Porter was tasked with becoming the town's first school resource officer. In that position, he developed and fostered relationships and guidelines that have allowed the program to grow and create alliance with the police and the school, parents, and students. This has only strengthened over time. In July of 2005, Sergeant Porter was promoted to detective. As detective, he worked tirelessly on a multinational homicide investigation, the Entwistle murder. While doing so, he, it saw him working with state, federal, and international police agencies to bring the defendant to justice and closure for the victim's family. Good evening, Boyd. Thank you for having me. Um, again, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the men and women of Hopkins and PD. I want to thank all of them. Uh, especially want to send a, a thank you out to Lieutenant Wallace, who many people do know that, uh, but when I was growing up, um, was with my mother, single mother, and um, Lieutenant Wallace met me at a very young age, uh, when I was about eight years old, and uh, mentored me and took me under his wing and put up with me with his with a little radar gun and me on my bicycle. So <laughs> it's, uh, it's been an honor to follow him throughout my career and, uh, and hopefully replace him and, and carry on the great things that he's done and, and meant to me. Uh, thank my mom, my wife, and my two wonderful children who are here tonight too also, and I look forward to this new chapter in my career. Fabulous. Great story. Uh, Mr. Catino, question? Yeah, I, I, I just, I, I love that story, and that's, and that's just the, the, the kind of community that, that I love being um, so proud of, being proud of, is that, you know, the relationship that, that you had with the police officer, and then, you know, and then you going, becoming a, the, a, the first SRO and all of that, and passing on, passing the batons on and, and to the great resource officer we have now. And, and to continue that uh, for, for my children and, and, and the rest, is a, it's, it's a great legacy. Thank you, and congratulations. Thank you. I have to admit, um, the school resource officer prob part of my career has probably been the most rewarding so far. Great. I'll move uh, motion. Okay. I'll move to appoint Joseph Bennett and Jay Porter, the position of lieutenant, the Hopkinton Police Department. Second. Okay, we have a motion of a second. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Present not voting. That's unanimous. The tremendous accomplishments you heard Chief Lee list for now Lieutenant Joseph Bennett and Lieutenant John Porter actually went on even further. You can see more on our website, hcam.tv. Congratulations to Mr. Bennett and Mr. Porter on the well-deserved promotions. Hopkinton Drug recently hosted their Holiday Open House. The fun-filled weekend featured many holiday-spirited activities and fun for the whole family. Hopkinton Drug hosted their annual Holiday Open House. The event featured treats such as popcorn and sweets, face painting for the kids, a raffle with proceeds going to Project Just Because, and various activities throughout the weekend. We had uh, face painting, we had uh, stories with Santa, we had two choirs here. Um, we gave away um, a lot of cookies and popcorn and we sold a lot of raffle tickets to benefit Project Just Because. Also uh, doing the same today for Project Just Because. The new Sound Assembly Chorus, who is part of the Barbershop Harmony Society and performs all over the state, spread some holiday joy. Got into a drifted bank and we, we got a strong jingle, jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh. Hey! Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh. A one horse open sleigh. And last but not least, children got the chance to meet Kris Kringle himself as Santa Claus was in attendance. Well, you know, you still have a few more weeks to decide what you'd like. Right. Like the list that's as long as your arm. Oh. <laughs> Coming up next on HCAM News, we have highlights from a tremendous Thanksgiving football game between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Ashland Clockers. And Hillers football seniors reflect on what was a great season. This and a lot more ahead. Stay tuned to HCAM News.
HCAM programming is supported by our viewers. Thank you. And by Golden Pond Assisted Living, honoring resident choice, dignity, and independence. Our health and wellness focus keeps residents active. Golden Pond, state-of-the-art senior housing and health care services. And by WPC Pest Control, a family-owned business for over 35 years. Owners Jim and Rebecca Mazzucchelli provide honesty, respect, and integrity, performing safe and effective pest control services. They service your home like it's their home. Hi, we are the girls from Girl Scout Troop 72969 from Hopkinton. We would like to thank Mr. Terosian for the awesome tour of the H Camp Studio. If you are interested in fun and adventurous field trips, we recommend one, to learn a Girl Scout Troop. And two, visiting H Camp to see how local television is created and produced. We also want to give a shout out to Kalala Supermarket to thank Dale for our Girl Scout Troop tour. And for always giving us a space to set up our cookie booth. Welcome back to HCAM News. The Hopkinton Hillers and crosstown rival Ashland Clockers were both 5-5 five and five as they went into the season finale Thanksgiving showdown. Here are the highlights of what was a tremendous down-to-the-wire battle. The 5-5 five and five Hopkinton Hillers met up with the 5-5 five and five Ashland Clockers for the 92nd Thanksgiving rivalry game. First quarter, Colin Hanrahan gets things started for Ashland as he takes the handoff from about the 25-yard line and plummets ahead for the score. Extra point was good, making it 7-0 Ashland. Hillers threaten to even out the score as Sam Lehman rushes from the 15 and gets inside the 5. Hillers were pushed back due to penalties, so what does Sam Lehman do? He sets the Hillers up around the 1-yard line and then hands off to Lehman. Lehman squirts forward and he is touchdown. in for a touchdown. On the conversion attempt, Jake Keller takes the quick snap and runs through open field right into the end zone to make it 8-7 Hillers. Second quarter, Colin Hanrahan responds, slipping through tackles and forces himself ahead for 13 yards and to make it 13 points for Ashland. Extra point was good, making it 14-8 Ashland. Jake Keller responds, firing a 53-yard bomb to Jack Vacari to tie up the game. Hillers kick the extra point and lead 15-14. Ashland wasn't going away, though. Later in the second quarter, Mitch Porter connects with Max Feinberg to move Ashland up to the 27-yard line. Then a few plays later, Porter with the fake and boom! finds Seamus Reardon in the end zone. Extra point good, clockers up 21 to 15. Ashland would get the ball back once again in the second quarter, and Mitch Porter finds Joe Schelling for a 25 yard reception. And then Colin Hanrahan finds the end zone for his third time of the day and makes it 28 to 15 clockers after the extra point. Jake Keller responds as he finds Jack Vacari for the second time in the end zone for the 25-yard touchdown pass. Keller throw, Keller pump fakes, now he throws. He's got a man open, it's Vacari, and he has him for a touchdown! Jack Vacari from 22 yards out, and the Hillers answer. The extra point puts the Hillers within six. It was 28-22 clockers at the half. Third quarter was mostly a defensive battle Jake Keller, though, continued his roll and launches a 37-yard touchdown pass right into the arms of Will Abbott. The Hillers got the extra point and take a 29-28 lead. There's a throw to the middle of the field and wide open is Abbott for the touchdown! Later in the third quarter, Joe Kirkak returned the lead to the Clockers as he buried a 27-yard field goal to make it a 31-29 game. About three minutes left to go in the game. The Hillers positioned at the Clockers 23. Jake Keller fires down the left side of the field and right over a defender to Will Abbott, who takes it all the way into the end zone and puts the Hillers up 35 to 31. For the middle, and he has it. Oh! Abbott! Abbott! Abbott gets it! He's at the 20, the 10, and he is in for a touchdown! And the Hillers take the lead! Hillers later in the fourth took an intentional safety to set up the kickoff. The Ashland Clockers now on their last play. A swing pass followed by a lateral and then out of bounds and the Hopkinton Hillers take a wild Thanksgiving showdown 35 to 33. 
The Hopkinton Hillers finished the season six and five. Ashland fell to five and six. Overall in the Thanksgiving series, the Hillers lead Ashland with 50 wins, 37 losses, and five ties in the rivalry. In this game, Jake Keller threw for four touchdown passes, and wide receivers Jack Bakari and Will Abbott each had a pair of touchdown receptions. Congratulations on a great season, Hopkinton Hillers. Be sure to catch the entire Thanksgiving showdown available on our website, hcam.tv. And you can see all of our other videos and broadcasts on our YouTube page. Just head to youtube.com slash hcamtv. The Hopkinton Hillers football team will lose 18 senior athletes after the school year. The group recently got together to reflect on the 2015 season. I'm Jake Kelleher, the uh, Hopkinton quarterback. Uh, my favorite memory is the Ashland uh, football game last year, Thanksgiving, the um, snow game. I'm Sam Lehman. I play running back and outside linebacker. My favorite memory from the season would be being in the locker room after our first win over Norton, just seeing everybody all happy and everybody coming together. Hi, my name is Jack Golfi. I play middle linebacker and guard, and uh, my favorite memory was beating Medfield. My name is Nick Pellucci, offensive tackle, defensive end. Uh, my favorite memory would be after all of our wins, especially after Norwood, just to see everyone how happy they were. My name is Jeff Foster. I'm an offensive line, defensive end. Uh, my favorite memory of the 2015 football season would have to be the pregame speeches from all the coaches. Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Jack Picari, uh, wide receiver. My favorite memory, probably uh, Jack Golfe dancing in the uh, locker rooms after wins. Uh, hi, I'm uh, Dylan Gunno. I'm a uh, wide receiver. Uh, my favorite memory of the season was uh, probably Coach Gerard's speech before the Hollison game. <laughs> oh, me? <laughs> Uh, my name's Connor Bade. I uh, play uh, cornerback uh, in the defensive backfield, one of the ball hawks. Uh, my favorite memory is uh, the victory Saturdays after the big wins, just the light mood. Hi, my name is Nick Canal. I play tight end and defensive end. And my favorite memory was probably pregame of the Hollison game and all the emotion we all had. Uh, my name is Peter Dubinsky. Um, I play left tackle and uh, defensive end. Uh, my favorite memory has to be my first uh, varsity start. You know, it was nerve wracking, but as soon as the first play went off, you know, the second play wasn't too bad and kind of got into a groove. Uh, hi, my name is Lucas Kaminsky. I am a outside linebacker and special teams specialist. Um, my favorite memory this year would have to be anytime the clock hits zero after a big win, you know, because that just means the leading days forward are just going to be great. Hi, I'm Dan Delaney. I'm a uh, middle linebacker, fullback, D-tackle, and special teamer. Uh, favorite memory from the season was probably the Norwood win. It was a great team game. My name is Josh Sokol. I play center and D-tackle. My favorite memory of the season was uh, probably during practice when uh, we got to go against the scout team. I got to go against Chuck and uh, give him a pretty good beating. And then uh, he'd give me a couple goes back and forth, but you know, mainly me asserting my dominance. But uh, he's became a better player, and uh, and I think that's the goal for next season is to make everyone the best they can be. Uh, oh, whoops. I'm Nick Ludorf. I play offensive guard. My favorite memory from this season was the Norwood game, the last game under the lights at home. Uh, I'm Nate Wilson. Uh, I'm a defensive back and running back for Hopkins Dillers. Um, favorite memory of 2015 season has to be uh, the captains or the senior dinner with the coaches. Uh, adv advice I could give to the younger kids, uh, just keep wor working hard, lift in the off season, and um, I'll do your thing. Uh, my advice to the underclassmen would be don't leave with any regrets. Make sure when you finish your career you've done everything you wanted. And if I had any advice it would be to lift in the off season. Uh, my advice to the underclassmen would to be work out with each other, push each other hard, and uh, time flies so make sure you don't waste it. Uh, advice to the younger guys would be to not make mistakes during the season, uh, don't be selfish, and uh, always put the team first, never put yourself first. What I'd say to the younger kids, let's see, uh, uh, make sure you got your gold bond, um, that's it. <laughs> My advice to the younger kids is keep working hard, your uh, opportunity will come. And then advice to younger kids is uh, 
you know, get after and practice. Practice hard, uh, help prepare you for the games. Okay. My advice for the younger kids would probably be to not take it all for granted because it really does go by fast and to take it all in. Some people are born with talent, some aren't. Either way, you got to work hard to beat the best, so just do that and make sure to have fun with it. Advice for the younger guys is uh, to make the most of the time you have left and uh, you're going to miss it once you're gone, so just live it up. I think that practice it should be every rep you have to pretend it's your last so that every rep you get better and better as you go and uh, you really take advantage of those things because we had a lot of kids hurt this year and like I think that's kind of what hurt our team is injuries you know it happens to every team every year but you know it's about kids filling those roles we need everyone to be at 100 percent next year and uh, just have fun when you're playing football. And advice to the underclassmen is always show up on time. Keep working hard, uh, keep in the weight room and everything so yeah. Congratulations on a great season to the Hopkinton Hillers. The New Sound Assembly Chorus, who was part of the nationwide barbershop Harmony Society, spread some holiday joy with a few Christmas tunes at the Hopkinton Drug Holiday Open House. Here is a listen to the very impressive regional chorus group. A lot is happening around town surrounding the holidays. With a look at what you can expect on the HCAM channels, here's our promotions coordinator, Courtney, with our HCAM Insider. Hello everyone, and welcome to the latest edition of the HCAM Insider. On Friday, December 11th at 8 p.m., Darlene, Connie, and Patricia return to the studio for a new episode of Hopkinton Coffee Break. We walked through the art on the trail. Yes. And you pointed out the nest and what she does for, for arts and serenity right. house. I started doing digging more. I knew she was an art mentor. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, wait a second, this picture's bigger, and that's why. On Monday, December 14th at 6.30 p.m., the Elementary School Building Committee meeting will air live on HCAM TV. At 9.30 p.m., Alice B. Fogel shares how the music of Bach inspired a collection of poetry on a new poetic lines. The ephemeral with transitional states of being, mm -hmm. identity, voices in transition. Mm -hmm. So I was gathering up those kinds of conditions in life to use as my subject. On Tuesday, December 15th at 6.30 p.m., the girls' basketball team faces off against Dover Sherborne live on HCAM Ed. And at 6.45 p.m., the Board of Selectmen meeting will air live on HCAM TV. On Wednesday, December 16th at 7 p.m., Sandra Corcoran tells stories of her training in shamanic healing traditions on Wake Up and Smell the Poetry. I understood I had accessed the realms beyond time and space that she had so often spoke of. 
I had been trying for years to understand what she had meant by this, trying to reach these realms consciously. And now I had arrived at the meeting with no real effort on my part. On Thursday, December 17th at 7 p.m., the school committee meeting will air live on HCAM TV. On Friday, December 18th at 6.30 p.m., the boys' basketball team takes on Millis, live on HCAM TV. And on HCAM Ed, the Hopkinton High School Drama Ensemble's production of 42nd Street will air. When Peggy Sawyer arrives in New York City, will she find the stardom she's seeking? The HHS Talent Show will also air, with students showcasing their musical prowess. If you want to find out when all of this HCAM programming will air, it's quick and easy. Head over to hcam.tv slash newsupdates and sign up for our HCAM Insider Newsletter. You can also sign up for our daily news updates to learn about all of the latest and greatest events happening in our town. As always, thanks for watching HCAM. Now back to you, Tom. Thank you very much, Courtney. That will just about do it for this edition of HCAM News. Don't forget, you can stay up to date with everything Hopkinton by checking out our website, hcam.tv, as well as our Twitter and Facebook page. If you have a Hopkinton-related video, photo, or story idea, I want to hear from you. Email me at news at hcam.tv. With your help, we'll cover even more of our community. For everyone here at HCAM, I'm Tom Nappy. We leave you now with the current community listings and upcoming government meetings. As always, we thank you for watching. smile.